Hi there, Aries. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. Let's see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? We have Ten of Cups. Queen of Coin. Three of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. King of Cups. Hierophant. Knight of Coin. Queen of Cups. All right, so what your person is most desiring is King of Cups. What Spirit most wants to know is Queen of Cups. So this there's a connection here uh, that goes beyond words. Like words can't even explain the depth of this connection. I'm already off the bat getting like twin flame energy. Uh, I know that's, you know, I'm going to just say twin flame is a label. It doesn't really matter what our labels are. This is a strong connection. This is an undeniable connection. Your person thinks about a future with you. They're about to connect with you. They want to propose to you with this hierophant. They're offering you hierophant. So, you know, hierophant can be, um, you know, the institution of, of marriage. But, but then again, you know, marriage is just a really a piece of paper. Like the, the paper and the label doesn't matter. It's the connection. It's the relationship. No matter what your piece of paper says about your relationship or what label you put on your relationship, doesn't matter. This is a strong connection. You're connected. You're connected by the chakras. Like your chakras are connected. Your hearts are connected. You know, your your all of your chakras are connected. And I feel like they're spinning in harmony now. Like your your crown chakras connect. Your higher selves connect. You're intuitively thinking the same things, whether you realize it or not. You there's something that you both want to say to each other. And I feel like sometimes when you open your mouth, you say the same thing. Like, you know, when you when two people say the same thing, what do they say? Like, oh, you owe me a beer. Like, you can finish each other's sentences or you can speak without words. Uh, and you 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 both feel this um, intense draw to each other. Your, your heart spaces are drawn to each other. Your solar plexuses right now are being cleared of, like, any kind of, like, um, I feel like I'm I'm seeing like the solar plexus being like spun out like the like all of the gunk like the residual gunk that has like weighed your like you know when they say um I don't know if I'm gonna say this right but like just um like your gut instincts or your your like um feeling like there's something about clearing out these passageways like the solar plexus i'm feeling like a very heavy solar plexus but like clearing that maybe even do like a google like a solar plexus clearing or or even all of the um all of them um oh, there was one there was one that i loved uh that i ran across um uh, madeline something her name is madeline like i don't know even if you google if you're feeling drawn to it google the madeline uh um, chakra clearing like she did them all so very nicely and like just like spinning out your chakras and, and clearing the way I'm feeling very heavy solar plexus energy so I'm feeling like you you're you're higher from your heart chakra up from heart chakra throat chakra uh, the the third eye and the crown I'm feeling like your higher chakras connected to your person's higher chakras are clear like those are spinning well like spirit is very much has the two of you connected and spinning in in synchronicity and harmony yet the lower chakras feel heavy like you know i'm getting all, all of a sudden i have like back pain and my solar plexus feels heavy it's like some i feel like the lower physical energies need to be cleared you know the sacral chakra the the root chakra those those um chakras for both of you are feeling a little bit heavy so maybe just clear out those lower chakras and I feel like you will come into harmony uh, faster if that makes any sense um, 
let's keep going here. We got a. Um, I'm gonna read the oracle message in closing, uh, but we'll, we'll keep going here. We're not ready for that yet. Here, uh, ten of cup energy is your person's current energy. So that's like heart chakra. Like their heart chakra is glowing. Your heart chakra is glowing. I feel like you you're connecting with each other. You're feeling a sense of change coming up here. King of cups, queen of cups. This ten of cup energy. Uh, sharing cups, sharing emotion here for pentacles. Yeah, we got to ground that with our our lower chakras. You know, four of pentacles is, is a grounding energy. It's a holding on. It's feeling supported, feeling um, rooted, like maybe the root chakra. Root, ground your root chakra and your sacral chakra and your uh, solar plexus. I feel like those three lower chakras need some um, clearing and centering. Uh, four swords. So another four is, is the grounding energy, grounding our thoughts, grounding our our um, our. Well, you know, along with the queen of coins, queen of coins for sword is very. Um, it's spiritual. Yet yeah, physical energy, it's blending the two, combining and, and connecting. I feel like the two of you are, are preparing to connect here with this three of wands in your person's thought space, five of cups. You know what's interesting? I was getting like the five cups and the five cups generate those ten cups, like the, the king's five cups and the queen's five cups merging together, a turning point. You know, I feel like you're both at this turning point. The three, the three spilled cups and turning around and facing the two upright cups and and also those those lower chakras you know let's it's time to merge the lower chakras with the upper chakras it's and it's the wheel here you know the wheels the chakras are our energy centers our energy wheels and i feel like we're you know the, your person's heart space is this wheel of fortune it's like it's time for the the two of you to spin simultaneously to spin together to spin in synchronicity three of cups so another three three of wands three of cups it's like joining with the three of cups is trinity you me us connecting moving forward together here this king of cup energy nine of cup energy there's a fulfillment here there's a, a manifestation here there's a rebirth here. There's change here. There's, there's, yeah, look at the two of you merging together. The two of you balancing each other out, balancing each other's chakras out. You know, the, these two, two, um, pentacles here it's like your chakra energy your person's chakra energy you know and it's even like if you look at this particular deck and she's got this upper chakra here the heart chakra uh and then the, the solar plexus chakra it's like connecting your energy centers is what's going to move you forward and draw the two of you together nine of sword we gotta like kind of eliminate the worry about that and i feel like that's where them lower chakras come in lower chakras are more more of our our base energy or our um you know our our physical energy versus our spiritual energy yeah but it's time it's time for that that wake up call that judgment card saying okay it's time wake up but you got to kind of wake up all your energy centers it's weird because i all of a sudden my, like my back i'm feeling pain in my back like with like the lower chakras need clearing is what i'm getting here emperor energy another four so you and your person are about to ground together build together uh from the, the connect yeah the emperor is like that grounded energy the four we got four pentacles four swords this emperor is a four it's like fours are solid they can be built upon and and connected to four and four is eight um in the in the infinity the the eight the eight the you you are connected but you are about to meet in the middle and join and again i keep getting chakra energy here look at empress yeah you belong together you balance each other out it's absolutely beautiful let's look at the bottoms of the deck here we got six of sword ten of wands so you know it's like overcoming looks like this one wants to show too yeah clearing the way clearing your chakras letting go of the heaviness and moving towards each other wow beautiful beautiful energy two of you are about to merge is what i'm getting 
Let's uh, close with our oracle message. We have Mount Shasta. I feel like they're telling me to read the bottom of this deck also. So, all right. Uh, Mount Shasta. Aware Lemuria would be destroyed, its people traveled to other parts of the globe. Mount Shasta was one place they journeyed. There are tales of unusual phenomenon and multidimensional beings living inside the mountain. This card is about origins, and the image is the seed crystal this deck is based around. Honor and look more deeply into your ancestry, both your bloodline and your etheric lineage. Do you have an affinity to any star beings? Connecting with them might allow you greater insight into your traits, your strengths and challenges. The sacred places you feel attracted to may have an intuitive message for you. And we have the root chakra. It's interesting because we have the intuition, which is, you know, the judgment and then the higher chakras are our intuition. Now, this card, you know, the deck was like, okay, read the bottom also. And, you know, I haven't done that with any of the readings yet so far. But anyhow, uh, then we have the root chakra. So th there's the ground and center. This image speaks of finding home within yourself, a sense of deep inner peace and a strong sense of grounding and being centered. Here you can fly free from the grips of survival into a place of thriving. There is trust, connection to community, and you can rely on others and joyfully understand your responsibilities in turn. You are held and have strong foundations for all aspects of life. With your guard down, you have the tools to ride the waves if you need. Everything is okay. Peace be with you. Bye now.